And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, Dale. it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Come on, let's go. So, in CHH, right? <laughs> oh. oh, we've been having uh, we 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 heard you spit your control verse, right? Oh, well, we boy. first heard you on <laughs> we first heard you on Dayton's track, right? On uh, oh man, dead, right? And yeah. everybody was applauding you, and they're like, "Yeah, that that's that dude. He's the man." Oh right? man! And then you came out with the control verse. So yeah. I guess the question is. What was behind the control verse? What was okay. the 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 idea or the thinking behind okay. you know wrote it? Like was it to get at artists? Was it to big right, up artists? Right. Were you salty right. about something? Was it you know right. what I mean? So let's That's get into a wonderful that. question. Fair question too. Great. And this is honestly my first time discussing the control verse. Woo! So y'all got the exclusive, bro. Boom, exclusive. boom, boom, boom. Breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> we need some sound effects, guys. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> What's that, Joe Button? They got the, the little push the button on the laptop yeah, yeah, with a gunshot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> drop one of uh, drop one of the uh, clues bombs. Clues bombs. <laughs> <laughs> drop one bombs. Clues bombs. <laughs> no, bro. Hey, uh, so the way, the that yeah. verse was dope. I oh, mean, the man. song was hey, dope. Man, we I appreciated that, man. That, man. Hey, much, I, I was much like, yo, this dude went in, man. <laughs> oh, man. I appreciate it, bro. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you so the control verse was actually my son's idea. <laughs> it was actually my son's idea. Uh, my yeah. son, uh, T.Y.E., he, he, he's, he's starting to rap, but he produces. And uh, he actually plays, he's running back for Ball State University, big number 30. Okay. Oh, wow. But, uh, <laughs> so, shout yeah, shout out to my baby boy. And um, so... With the verse with Dayton, um, that was a dream come true because Dayton is one of my favorite rappers like of all time. Like no lie, that's wow. a thousand wow. percent true. And nope. yeah. yeah, bro, like so I had already been a fan of GOM and I got hit the GOM back in like 2010 with the uh, Who is Mark James mixtapes with Bumps, you know, Bumps Yeah, yeah. And that's how I discovered Bizzle. Crazy enough, I discovered Bizzle through listening to, to Bumps. And um, then when I did heard interviews and you know saw Bump, you know Bizzle's freestyles, you know what I'm saying when he was going at the main rappers, and I started hearing the story like, oh, Bizzle is the one that owns Got Over Money because mm. I saw the logo everywhere, right? Right, right. And um, so I just was always a fan, and you know more and more, you know, fan more and more fan over the years. And then all of a sudden, I hear this song called Hallelujah All Day. I'm like, this is the perfect Christian rap song, like in my opinion. <laughs> It's right, the right. perfect Christian hip hop song. Like every like the beat is dumb. That was the anthem with, right there. Yeah. Any yeah. any Christian uh, all day. All day, <laughs> right? The hook was perfect. Like just I'm like, this dude is spitting, spitting. Like, who is this? Who's who's this dating dude? Right. I'm like, if this how GOM is coming, right. that's where I want to be. That's what it was I aggressive too. It wasn't like on some man like, sing song. Soft. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it mm -hmm. was like real aggressive and praising the Lord. And, and praising the Lord, yeah. right? Like, yeah. come on. And he was saying stuff that they that right. Christian rappers are scared to say. He was right. saying it. So I was like, oh yeah, this dude, this. So I posted a video in 2000, I'll get to the, the control verse, but I posted a video in 2016 in my ex-girlfriend's car. I mean, jamming out to Hallelujah All Day. Like, I don't know who this dude is, but right. this is disgusting. And, and you're not rapping like, at the time? To it. I was, I was. Okay. And I had actually was, I was like completely independent doing it by myself, like releasing, um, I, like it was a 2016. I think I released like four projects okay. that nobody heard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, know, but yeah. Grinding. So you I, was on the grind. <laughs> grinding, bro. Like, like push your T. Right. And <laughs> so, and then he, he responded to it. And I was like, oh, this dude is humble. So we started chopping it. And then we ended up, you know, really connecting. And then he invited me to come out to um, to their tour in 2017, one of their tour stops in, or in Orlando. So I got to meet him, got to meet Bizzle, man, got to meet Seven, got to meet Ishan, Illuminate, got to meet God, so many people, man. Like so many more people, too. I got to meet like people I've been listening to. Right. And, you know, like, whoa, this is this is what I want to do. This is what I want to be. And we just kept chopping, kept chopping. He just kept giving me advice like, yo, you know, 
try this, do this, try this, do that. Um, so then when the opportunity came to do back in the ring, I was like, oh, man. Here we go. He was like, yo, he was like, yo, I need you to come with it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm coming with it. So I need you to come with it. Like, you got to really bring it. <laughs> I was like, I get what you're saying. I get what I, you're saying. I hear that. I hear that in a I GOM. They they be sending uh warnings like listen man you better come correct man <laughs> and, and I loved I saw that I saw that with with Selah man and shout out to Selah man yeah he's a real one like I can't man Selah's a real deal Holyfield real one for real um, <laughs> yeah so yeah and he you know I was like all right I got you so he's like I need you to come with the Maltese come with you know I need you to come with like a battle verse I'm like all right word and I sent it to him and, and he loved it he's like that's what I was looking for. So fast forward back to this control verse. I dropped uh, my second mixtape this year. Um, and my son was like, yo, we need to do a control verse. I'm like, oh, that's dangerous. That's risky. <laughs> he's like, no, he's a pops. Like, you got people's attention with the dating joint. Like, you need to do a control verse. I was like, uh. So I thought about it. And so I went on ahead, recorded it. And, I, and I, the original version of it, actually, my son has a verse on the control verse. Okay. He was like, yo, Pops, I'm going to get at you. I'm going to get you. So he he did his verse, you know, oh, whatever. So that's so, why you said that line. I'm going to spank my line. son. Okay. My son too. Yeah, yeah. That's what that <laughs> I was like, all right. So he's like, so he was, Pops, don't get washed. Don't get washed. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I not only wash the dishes, wash your clothes and your behind. Like, I've been washing you. Stop. Right. <laughs> that's why I said that line. Yeah, yeah. But he, original version, he has a verse on it. Um, well, you going to so, drop that? His verse? Yeah. I might do that. Hold on, you know, I mean, when he when he see this, he'll be like, "Yo, pops, see, I told you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we already know. To that. Already know. Yeah, um, but it's like one of his first verses. But it's dope, though. He, yeah. you know, he he, he coming with it. But he's on yeah. the second mixtape. Like he actually rapped on the second mixtape. But okay. So like the idea behind the control verse, I thought about it and I went back. And here's the crazy thing: I've never actually heard the entire song. I only heard Kendrick's verse, and that's mm. it. Like all these years later, that's what I only heard Kendrick. That, that's the only person that really matters, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no disrespect, but when I finally heard the whole song, I was like, "Yeah, yeah, I see why it's called the Control Kendrick Control Verse." Right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But uh, and everybody was dope on it. But I mean, you know, so I listened to it, listened to it, studied it, listened to it, and what I like to do with my freestyles is I'll mirror the flow and the and the and the pattern. And sometimes the cadence of whoever's song it is, but I'll flip the lyrics, you know, obviously making Christian and flip them in it and add bars to it, add some punches right. or whatever. But like, that's kind of like the gimmick, if you will, whatever. And, but I'll pick certain songs that have a really distinct, uh, you know, rhyme pattern to it or whatever, like tech nine joints is just, that's a whole nother conversation. Yeah. Yeah. But and then the idea with the mixtapes was I, I picked just crazy different types of songs in hip hop and then and it just kill them to show that I'm versatile. Yeah. So with this one, I'm listening to it. I'm like, all right, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? How am I going to do this? So I kind of mimicked Kendrick's verse and mimicked the energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I figured, all right, I'm going to drop all of the illest Christian hip hop artists, like the illest lyricists. I didn't even catch all of them. Like I, right. I forgot mouthpiece was a monster. Like there's so many, like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, man, he gets a like, lot of respect I, too. He, gets, bro, he I, deserves I hear, a lot, it, man. I hear a lot of big names mention him all the oh, time. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Mouthpiece is disgusting. Like there's so many, like so many, like it's so many in the name, but so the idea was to call them out without calling them out. Like, right. you know, fighting without fighting. Right. Or Bruce Leroy fighting without knowing how to fight, but um, <laughs> if you if you know what I'm talking about, you as old as I am. <laughs> All right, yeah. I, 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 you the last dragon, boy. You you know, uh, so, I, like what we were talking about earlier with how the clever wordplay on how to manipulate masses. Like, like I said, I, I pick up on that stuff. So the idea was, I knew that people were going to immediately think I was dissing their favorite artists. And then the, the super evangelicals and be like, how does that glorify God? Uh, mm -hmm. Blah, 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 which much respect, you know, but then the less you know, evangelicals, you know, casual Christian hip hop fans be like, whoa, bro, you diss my favorite rapper. This is trash. Just because <laughs> yeah. you said my favorite rappers, not listening right. to the wordplay right. and, right. and dissecting like, 
like there's so I said so much in that freestyle, like some political stuff. Like yep. people yep. don't even realize I said the earth is flat in that freestyle. Yeah. 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 I missed that. Yeah. Everybody no, missed that. that. I caught it. Like, oh, you caught that. Yeah, I like I said, the earth is flat. Everybody missed that. I'm like, how do yeah. wait? That's the most controversial thing in the whole verse. Y'all missed that. Right. But and and it, and it was a dumb punchline. So I'm almost mad they missed that. That punch was <laughs> dumb. I'm proud of myself for that. Anyway, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm kidding. And that's kidding. the thing. No. I heard I heard it and I was, you know, and I was talking to a friend and I he was like, yeah. Oh, is he trying to dis I'm like, no, he's yeah. if you listen to the verse, you listen to it. Is yeah. he yeah. saying I what I got was listen, I appreciate these rappers, I appreciate mm-hmm. these these brothers, they doing their thing for the Lord or musically mm-hmm. or whatever it may be. And but I could keep up with them. Right. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. And, and it was it, it was a, right. And I knew people well when when Tech Nine so the whole Andy Minio thing. So when when the Andy Minio verse, I did the freestyle, and then it just blew up. When Tech Nine reposted it, then it just went disgusting to the moon. Yeah, and I started right. saying, "In the, oh, appreciate, yeah, much love, like, bro, Tech Nine, but I'm wow." Anyway, yeah, he reposted. So, I seen he commented on your on your on your yeah. on your post bruh, as well. We, you guys got a relationship or or. I don't know, man. I mean, I mean, I mean it's one of them things. Where, like, you like one more comment. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna like, need that one verse. More, bro. <laughs> one more comment, bro. We best friends. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but uh, but no. So when he did that, and that you know, and the Andy Mendio joint happened, I was like, okay, something like God is doing some stuff, man. Right. So I been had the verse recorded. I just was like, when is the time to put it out? So I got some real good advice. I actually went to date and I'm like, yo, what you think of this, man? Because I told him, like, your name is in this. Like, do you think these dudes will be sensitive about it? He's like, some of them might, but the more they hear it, you know, they'll they'll be like, all right. And they'll be able to talk to other brothers that they know right. in the game. And be like, yeah, this dude is, you know, it's legit. He's not dissing nobody. Like, He's not being uh, disrespectful. But he was like, yo, now's not the time. When I first did it months ago, he's like, now ain't the time for it. So mm-hmm. I was like, all right, I'm going to sit on it. I wasn't going to do nothing with it. Then after the Andy Mineo joint, he hit me. He was like, now. Now. <laughs> drop it now. Because <laughs> everybody commented on that Tech 9. My brother Lecrae was in that joint. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. there, I mean, everybody was in there commenting. I'm like, everybody watching. Now right. it's time to drop it. Right. And so, I knew it was going to be polarizing. But you know, Were, were but, you already sitting on the video? No. So we you had, so a, rush, we, you had um, a rush of video? When he no, said no, drop we, it? no, we didn't. No, 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 we didn't rush it. Like we, so we, we like my with me, just me and strong life. We can shoot. We shoot fast. Like we'll, yeah. we'll we'll get it done in a day. We've been working together for the last couple of years, and we'll like, you know, shoot it. And we'll spend hours shooting just me and him, and then he'll go edit that joint, and it's done. You know what I'm saying? So like, you know, we we can have that done quickly, and we can we you know we kind of came with an idea, but like the idea further with the with the verses, I knew people when they saw the comment, when I saw the comments in Tech Nine when he reposted it, I was surprised how many people recognized me from WWE. I'm mm-hmm. like, that's crazy. I had my face covering my, my hat covering my face. Like how people, how would people even know, you know, unless they clicked on my profile, I guess. And even still, I don't post a lot of wrestling stuff. So I'm like, and people still right. remember that. So I'm like, all right, that's dope. Cause so from, even from a wrestling perspective, that's the wrestling persona, you know, right. cutting the promo. Like, Let me tell you something, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, <laughs> but so like, all right, people will get it once they like really digest it and like do some homework and then, you know, talk and then listen and talk and listen to other people. They'll eventually really, really get what I was doing. Right. And, and now, the real hip hop heads, go ahead. Did you want a response? Like, did you want to like engage in some kind of? Ah, uh, no, no. I mean, I don't care, honestly. Like I've talked to a one or two people i've talked to him yeah and and you know and and it was like yo you want me to get in my bag i'm like yo yes yes because <laughs> <laughs> sailor, like, sailor, had, sailor had mentioned that he he had a verse right i saw that and he was ready yeah. and he was ready to drop and he was like he's like yo i really respect monster tov i wanted to show him that respect back and right, he was that's like, so dope, i was ready man. i was ready to do it but then you know yeah. they were like nah chill they you know like, yeah, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah like, let, mean, let that dude live let him live <laughs> yeah. S- sailor, even, sailor even mentioned that he was like yo i think chh needs this like this type of right. like That's aggressiveness true. like back and forth type of thing well, what not, you, you know about what that? Yeah. i agree with that 100 percent. maybe not necessarily back and forth I, i'm not, not saying i disagree with that part of it because i do agree with it but you know maybe just that some excitement man some excitement something 
to get people talking, some conversation that's fun and lighthearted, but still, um, I, I, I keep throwing around the word polarizing, but something that, you know, that creates conversation, right? Right. And, you know, that verse, everything is so complex. There's so many, so much in that verse and so much about that verse that it created so much conversation in a short amount of time that I, I thought it was great. It was healthy. And, I, and I'm glad people are seeing that. Like, right. and it, it honestly, furthermore, it shows that the names of the people I mentioned, they're, they're so, they're confident. They know what they can do. They're, mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're humble. They're men of God, 100%. But they also know that they're some killer lyricists. Right, right, right. Straight up. Like, and that's why I said the names I said. Right. You know, in particular. And unfortunately, I couldn't name everybody. You know what I'm saying? But like I, I had to fit it in the rhyme scheme. And okay. even like, you know, and, and I don't take a person who was like, he's trash, he's trash. I'm like, all right, cool. I guess because it's yeah, not we auto-tune. Some, some man, comments man. people like never that. rap before. <laughs> yeah, man, I I don't, just, that don't bother me. I was just about to say that, but they probably said it because yeah. they was mad because of who you mentioned. Or who, who I mentioned, yeah. But but I mentioned, yeah, go ahead. But say like, but say like you know, he, he mentioned that too because he was like, people are just outright just saying it's trash, but they didn't just really because. listen to it. But he yeah. also said... That's when he said, yo, this dude can rap. And like, what qualifies dope, you to man. say yeah, that this yeah. dude can't rap? So I don't he know if you saw him say that. Nine. I mean, wh- right. <laughs> right. He's, he's not going to listen to you. He's going to listen to you or Tech bro. Nine. <laughs> right, right, right. He's not like, reposting any comments. <laughs> Bru- bruh, he don't, man, he don't repost nobody that's what I'm unless you his artist. Like, that's, that's a yeah. first. Yeah. And if you listen to any Tech Nine interview, and I'm, I'm a huge Tech Nine fan, always have been. Wow. And if you listen to any, oh yeah, yeah. So that was big for me. Like that's yeah. that's humongous. And if you listen to a techno interview, you can tell he's well aware that he's one of the greatest rappers of all time. You can mm-hmm. tell. But <laughs> hey, who who gonna stop him? Who who gonna be mad at him for? Who gonna stop him? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he's not even like arrogant, and cocky. He just he just knows. Like nah, I, I know I'm one of the ghosts. I know. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And you know, with with the artist, you know, who I name, like. I, I saw a couple comments of people like, yeah, the beat was whack, man. The beat didn't get the beat was whack. And I'm like, wait, y'all thought that's an original beat? That shows that you don't right, know what you're right. talking about. Like, they don't even know beat. that that, like, was, that was that was that was the control verse. Like they don't even know nothing. They Bruh, have no context so, whatsoever. No, and, and here's where it gets deeper. So the second verse is actually new. Like the first verse I had, all right, was sitting on. I added the second verse right before I released it. Mm. So then I thought I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do with the second verse? So I went to the Kendrick freestyle, the Kendrick uh, BET Cypher freestyle, where he dissed Drake and dissed, uh, I want to say it's allegedly dissed Papoose, but dissed Drake. And uh, what he's doing is like, uh, I took the sensitive rapper back in his something, something, something. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I basically took the structure of that freestyle and made the second verse. So like, if you go back to listen to that Kendrick freestyle and then listen to the second verse, you'll be like, I see what he did there. Mm-hmm. Like, so I, I just mimicked the pattern basically right, but then right. but you know changed it or whatever but i do that as a tribute to the original or you know to it was a tribute to kendrick right kendrick, you know right. what i'm saying and yeah so like and, and in all honesty it really was really also a tribute to you know the brothers names i mentioned because they taught me how to do this you know mm. i did quite a scale i've been doing music for 20 years I had a recording contract in 2001. It was an indie contract up in Ohio, 2001. And I was a secular rapper, but, you know, it it didn't work out. And I had had some close calls, you know what I'm saying? And I mean, some real close calls, actually. But, you know, then I got into wrestling and I was playing sports and all of that. And then music kind of took a backseat until 2010 when I rededicated my life to the Lord and then dedicated my music to him, you know. And in 2010, that's when I first started listening to CAJH for real. And God, the first I found, uh, I was just searching and I found um, 777, uh, some market of peace. Uh, I don't know if y'all are familiar with Dwayne Triumph. If you oh, never yeah, heard Dwayne, yeah, yeah. Bro, UK, right? He's from UK. UK. Yeah, the UK yeah. Dwayne Triumph is one of the dopest CHH MCs ever. Like, I, I will say that. Like, like, if you listen to that album, the way that dude was rapping was futuristic, man. Like, he was his, his punches, yeah. Yeah. his, his wordplay, his patterns. Maltese, like just the way he was, he was floating on some of them beats. Like, mm-hmm. dude was dumb. And um, pro redemption, Derek Minor. And I'm listening. I'm like, yo, this dude is kind of gangster. Like, wait, this what Christian rap sound like? <laughs> and it just, and those are the first two albums I found. Right. And from there, 
I found Rebel. That was like right when Lecrae. No, what did I find? Was it Rebel? Not Rebel. Not Rebel. Not Rebel. Um, Real talk. No rehab. 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 Oh rehab. rehab. Okay. Yeah, I found Rehab, and I'm like, what is this? Lecrae. Who is Lecrae? So I'm listening. I'm like, mind blown. When I first rehab, mind was blown. And then you found so out went, about the whole community right after that. <laughs> it's like, oh, and man, it just <laughs> on and on and on. That's when I, you know, found Bumps and and Bizzle and man and and so many like I, I just I was just searching my I got like two iPads just iPods full of like Christian hip hop from like 2010 to like 2015. You know what I'm saying? Just wow. er, I mean everybody from so, like. Yeah, Slam ahead. ambassador. I know. 